So the Week Without Violence is a global campaign to raise awareness about the prevalence of violence against women and to bring people together as both a celebration of survival but also an acknowledgement of the impact that family violence has. A lot of um, the ways in which the Week Without Violence is interpreted here in the Northern Region is through the Clothesline Project. Uh, and, and what we do in the Close Zone Project is we paint t-shirts with messages either from or for victims of family violence. The Hume Family and Domestic Violence Network has been uh, involved with the Close Line Project and Week Without Violence since its inception in 1999. Uh, it was a year when money was provided. We had um, the capacity to provide childcare, for women coming to the workshops. We had resources, t-shirts, materials, all sorts of things. And also there were uh, huge banners that were on the trams. So Week Without Violence was very visible throughout Melbourne. I think by the time we were ready to do the Clothesline project again in 2000, there was much more confidence amongst the networks around how we might go about it. A couple of them decided they would come together and do one big joint clothesline project. So we literally had hundreds of t-shirts strung between the on clotheslines, strung between the trees in, in the Edinburgh Gardens. We had food and barbecues, we had entertainment, we had Lou Bennett up on stage singing. It was, it was like a festival feeling with a very serious message, but a real sense of optimism around we can make a difference, we can, we can make a difference, we can make this public display, we can work together on this and together we can deliver really strong messages about the need to end domestic violence, the need to end family violence, ending violence against women in this state. We felt like we were on, onto something that was going to be really big and get, get a message out. It's a chance for women for the first time to actually come together and tell their story and write their messages. Messages of hope, messages of anger, frustration. It was a variety of messages, but it was their story, their voices, and, and that's what was so fantastic. When we're doing our t-shirts, we can write whatever we want on there. And you don't have to put your name on it, you just show what we mean. And some of the sayings are very, very powerful. And um, it's to try and break down barriers and let the males know, you know, uh, the police, government agencies know that we are here and we've got something to say and we're not gonna take it anymore. When, when people walk in and they see some of these messages on the t-shirts, I think, hmm, you know, Maybe I'm not alone. Mmm, that message, yes, that's a powerful one. I like that one. Maybe, yeah, I can do this. I'm strong. I can, I'll bugger them, you know. Pull. I think Week Without Violence and the Clothesline Project is very much about women's voices. Women coming together, women sharing their stories and supporting one another. And I think what we see is the resilience of, of women and the strength. And coming out, I've seen women in tears because they felt like they've been able to express something, knowing that what they've done, what they've created on a t-shirt, or even a, a star, is something that is going to be part of a large campaign. And that's, that's really exciting for women, for individuals to think that they're part of something even bigger. When I see the new faces, they come and go, but you see a smile on their face. They come in and they look really like, oh no, is this the right place or not? And then by the time they finish painting and talking and laughing and chatting with other people, they realise, wow, I've got new friends here. You know, it's gonna be okay. 20 years that we've got um, the Clothesline Project and it gets bigger and better and stronger and more stronger women.